first thing I'm going to start off with is a light grey pen and what you want to do is you want to take a pen which is just dark enough so that you can see the colour on the brush but not too dark so that if you mess up then it's something that you can't fix later. So I'm just going to be outlining the shape of the eye. Once I have the shape of the eye, I'm going to take a pink colour and I'm going to be putting this on the inner corner and the outer corner and then blending that out. Now for the eye what you want to do is regardless of whatever colour you're going for, you want to have a selection of different shades. So with the blue I'm going to be using up to four different colours and the same goes for any eye colour, even brown. Use different shades so that there's a bit more depth to it and it's going to make it look a lot more lifelike if you do that rather than just using one flat colour. fun part, the highlights. I'm actually going to be using a pen which is designed as a little bit of an oversized Tipex pen but it works really well as a highlight on brown paper or on even regular paper but I love using this as a highlight on any drawings on brown paper or on the back of hairbrushes when I want to draw some eyeballs. If you're not used to using this kind of pen then I suggest that in between drawing on the hairbrush you dab it on a paper just to get some flow going through the tip because it can go through stages of being quite dry and applying it really lightly like it is now for the skin or applying it very thickly like when I'm working on the highlight for the eye. So if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally get the wrong amount of flow to the tip of the pen just dab it on a paper in between takes and then that way hopefully you shouldn't have a complete disaster on your hands that wrecks everything you've been working on. Of course I need to draw the false lashes as well, so I'm going to be drawing those on the upper and the lower lid of the eye. So that the highlight doesn't look too harsh I'm going to be taking one of the green pens that I used for the eyes and then just dabbing it around the edge so that there's more of a gradual fade into the highlight. For that I'm going to be taking a very dark blue pen and yes I know it looks black but it isn't it's just ever so slightly off and I'm going to be adding a little bit more detail around the corners of the eyes. I'm also going to be adding some green, some white and then some gold highlights in the very centre of the iris. Finally to finish off I'm going to be adding a bit more shadow underneath the lashes just to make them look thicker and make the eye look more realistic. And an easy way to get a very soft amount of colour onto the brush is to dab it on your finger and then to dab it on the brush. And it's good because it means you can gradually build up the colour. And if you wanted to you could do the whole brush this way but I'm going to be doing this as a last detail. I'm going to add a little bit more red in the inner corner of the eye. Finish off with a coat of varnish over the whole brush to make sure that this doesn't wash away. 
And then that's it. You're done. 